Episode number 16. I'm not trying to be success, Florida, said Kay after this thought. That's probably more than I'm capable of anyway. I'm sure the examining judge can speak far better than I can, it is part of his job after all. All that I want is a public discussion of a public wrong. Listen. Ten days ago I was placed under arrest, the arrest itself is something I laugh about, but that's beside the point. They came for me in the morning when I was still in bed. Maybe the order had been given to arrest some house painter, that seems possible after what the judge has said, someone, who is as innocent as I am, but it was me they chose. There were two police thugs occupying the next room. They could not have taken better precautions, if I had been a dangerous robber. And these policemen were unprincipled riffraff, they talked at me till I was sick of it, they wanted bribes, they wanted to trick me into giving them my clothes, they wanted money, supposedly so that they could bring me my breakfast after they had blatantly eaten my own breakfast in front of my eyes. And even that was not enough. I was led in front of the supervisor in another room. This was the room of a lady, who I have a lot of respect for, and I was forced to look on, while the supervisor, and the policemen made quite a mess of this room, because of me, although not through a fault of mine. It was not easy to stay calm, but I managed to do so, and was completely calm when I asked the supervisor why it was that I was under arrest. If he were here he would have to confirm what I say. I can see him now, sitting on the chair belonging to that lady I mentioned, a picture of dull-witted arrogance. What do you think he answered? What he told me, gentlemen, was basically nothing at all. Perhaps he really did know nothing. He had placed me under arrest, and was satisfied. In fact he had done more than that, and brought three junior employees from the bank, where I work into the late zone. They had made themselves busy interfering with some photographs that belonged to the late, and causing a mess. There was, of course, another reason for bringing these employees. They, just like my landlady, and her maid, were expected to spread the news of my arrest, and damage my public reputation, and in particular to remove me from my position at the bank. Well they didn't succeed in any of that, not in the slightest, even my landlady, who is quite a simple person, and I will give you here her name in full respect, her name is Mrs. Gaubach, even Mrs. Gaubach was understanding enough to see that an arrest like this has no more significance than an attack carried out on the street by some youths, who are not kept under proper control. I repeat, this whole affair has caused me nothing, but unpleasantness and temporary irritation, but could it not also have had some far consequences? Kay broke off here, and looked at the judge, who said nothing. As he did so he thought he saw the judge use a movement of his eyes to give a sign to someone in the crowd. Kay smiled, and said, And now the judge, right next to me, is giving a secret sign to someone among you. There seems to someone among you, who is taking directions from above. I don't know whether the sign is meant to produce booing, or applause, but I'll resist trying to guess what its meaning is too soon. It really doesn't matter to me, and I give his lordship the judge my full, and public permission to stop giving secret signs to his paid subordinate down there, and give his orders in words instead. Let him just say, boo now, exclamation. And then the next time, clap now.